So I'm going to start off by cutting all the sunburst segments to the proper length. Well that's 16 pieces, that's all I need. I'm not planning on making any mistakes, so hopefully it'll work out. So I'm going to rip all the tapered segments of the sunburst on this jig, and when I'm done with it, I'll just toss it. When cutting these segments, you want to make sure you have a great blade in your table saw, especially if you don't want to have to redress it on the joiner. So I'm using my Amana, my Prestige blade. It's a 10 inch 40 tooth blade and uh, it's, it's pretty new, fresh out of the box. So I know it's going to give me a really nice edge. All I'm going to have to do is ease the edges and lightly touch it with a, a sander and it'll be good to go. So the way I have it laid out is so I can take one of the fall offs of cutting the angle and I just place it down onto the jig, I'll secure it, and that's going to give me the angle for the second half. So I'm basically going to take this and transfer the angle over to the chop saw and that will allow me to be able to cut the four segmented pieces I need for that radius. So I cut the four pieces, put some biscuits in the end of them, now i got to glue them together and prep them for cutting them into a radius. So I'm going to show you how I go about mathematically laying out a quarter round sunburst. Now a sunburst can be any configuration, it could be quarter round, half round, elliptical, they're all laid out the same way. So you start with a circle, I'm going to try to draw a circle. Well I've seen better circles but we're going to go with that. So my sunburst happens to be a quarter of the circle. What I know is that I have cedar boards five and a half inches wide. So that dimension is the maximum dimension for the end of the sunburst. So my radius is then 54 inches. So I need to find the circumference of this quarter circle. C equals two pi r. So C equals 339.29 and what we're going to do is we're going to, that's the full circumference of the circle. So we're going to divide that by four. So one quarter circumference equals 84.82 inches. So that dimension right here is 84.82 inches. Now we're going to approximate that. We're going to divide that by, call it 16, 16 segments, and then that will equal 5.3, which is just under the five and a half inch maximum. So we're going to subtract, so that's going to work, we're going, that's going to give us a 16 piece segment. We're going to take the 5.3 and we're going to deduct the 1 8 inch reveal. So that will give us an end cut, I'm looking for this, this dimension, the X dimension. That'll give us 5.176 inches, that's 5 and 3 32nd inch. Now, a 32nd is very important because if you have 16 pieces and you're off a 32nd of an inch, that's a half an inch overall. So that 32nd is very important. So five and 3 32nds on this end. So now I need to locate this end. So I'm gonna start with another quarter circle, solid piece of wood in here. And we're gonna have a 10 inch piece and then we're going to put another circle in here and we're going to call that five inch that will leave a remainder of 39 inches in here 
for our segment piece. So that's 39 inches. So now what we need to do is we need to find this radius so we can calculate the exact dimension of this. So we're gonna pull up 15 inches. So again, using pi, we're gonna go C equals two pi R. The uh, R is equal to 15. So that's 15. R equals 15. So when you calculate that out, that would mean the full circumference is equals 94.25 inches. Again, you wanna divide that by four because we're gonna quarter the segment. So one quarter C equals 23.56 inches. And again, we have 16 segments, so we're gonna divide that by 16. And then that equals 1.4 seven inches, take off the eighth inch reveal, minus 0.125, and that equals 1.34, which is uh, 1 and 11 30 second inch. So this dimension here, 1 and 11 30 second inch. That is our segment we need to cut. We need 16 pieces cut at this segment. 39 inches, five and three thirty seconds on one end, one and 11 30 seconds on the other end. These pieces are pulled out with basic radius dimensions from here. So that's a 10 inch radius, and then this piece is a 15, and we gotta pull out the reveals on the inside. So that will give us the entire sunburst layout right there.